Guys, welcome to Lunar Tower number three. And so very, very soon, Lunar Tower will be opening from floors 111 through to 130, inclusive of EX. However, seeing as this is our third Lunar Tower, hopefully you guys are kind of in the mood of rinse and repeat. On top of that, this time we have Christina. Well, hopefully like the majority, you are gonna have Christina. And so generally speaking, we should have a better time. Hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about Lunar Tower floors 111 through to 130. I've got a whole bunch of guides lined up for you guys and hopefully you guys will be able to find a couple that do work for you because I completely respect that not everybody has everyone, right? And so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I think at this point, you guys should know exactly what's coming. All right, and so to kick things off, we have our boy Chocolate. He is coming through for us yet again. Chocolate's guide as well as fan subbings, they're probably the most relevant to Global, but you guys should already know them. And the reason that they are the most relevant is because they have tailored it like according to what we do have. A lot of the other like playlists, like these guys over here, in my opinion, these are all backups because like there are going to be a lot of scenarios where we won't have a specific character or we won't have unique equipment just stuff like that right and so let's flick back to chocolates one it's pretty straightforward and so just looking at the general use team nothing's really changed except for the fact that instead of Tomo or Kari we are now using Christina and so guys just remember that this is so massive because Christina is also dishing out the defense down and thanks to Christina as you will see not only in this guide but in a lot of the other ones we can actually spend the majority of the time autoing if you so wish However, as always, if your tanks or if your like DPSs, they are a little bit too weak, then it, you're going to need a little bit of manual intervention. Otherwise, on top of that, you're also going to be looking at these ones over here, the mage team. However, with that being said, if you have been around for the last two Lunar Towers, this should be no surprise. And so I'm just going to quickly flick through this one. So a couple of the key call out floors, 111, I remember it's very, very tanky. But honestly, this guide, I, I really can't add anything to it. Like he has just made it so straightforward. I am probably just going to move on. And so next we have fan subbing's guide, so 111 to 130. So just coming down here, I feel like fan subbing doesn't use uh, Christina very much. And unfortunately, I don't think it's quite as detailed as what Chocolate has, because as you can see, Chocolate is pretty much showing you floor by floor which teams you should be using. So I would most certainly say that fan subbing is, is definitely the backup to Chocolate's guide over here. But the nice thing about fan subbing's, or to be honest, both of them, is that they include a lot of like the rationales right so while the general use team works for most of these floors and blah 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 and then if I head over back to fan subbings you can see over here there's just a lot of rationale and you guys already know that I'm a big fan of the reasons as to why we do things and so something that I actually don't see in both fan subbings as well as chocolates guides is well there's kind of like an implicit it's kind of implied that you can have all these five star rankings like five star Miyako five star Nozomi which is fair and Akari which is also fair but there are a couple that are going to be a little bit harder, such as like your Juns. And then you may not have like uh, this girl over here. You might not have Halloween Misaki. So something that I do want to remind you guys on is the Yukari, the Maho, the Misato, the Yui, the heels, guys. If you guys are watching this and you're underleveled, remember that you can kind of like take one of these characters out and use a healer instead. However, generally speaking, if you're pretty close to these stars, I, I don't think that you are going to need it. All right. And so with that being said that covers off uh, the global specific ones so let's have a look at our our real real backups and so guys this is probably the place where i do need to spend the most time because of the version differences right first of all i've got about like five or six playlists for you guys but most of them are going to feature kana as you can see over here and so guys instead of kana typically the replacements are going to be tomo Kokoro, sorry, Sama Kokoro, Kari, and potentially Hiyori if she start up, but it's it's probably not going to be Hiyori. It is mainly going to be the first three. And so guys, remember again, anytime that you see the red-haired goddess over here, uh, it is going to be replaced by one of those three. However, what is pretty interesting is that if I come over here, you'll see a bunch of gear requirements, and for the most part, they're actually only at 10-6. And so what that's kind of implying is that we technically, for a lot of characters, have a lot more stats compared to what CN had at the time. And so what I'm really trying to get at over here is that some things that don't work on CN may actually work. So experiment if you have to. But generally, again, it's going to be following like a very, very similar format to this. 
You've got Jun for the reasons of healing and defense down. You've got Nozomi for the AoE healing and the attack buff. Christina and Kana for your DPSs. If not, then Makoto, Kaori, you already know who it is. And the reason that you're not using the archers is because you want them to be close enough range to the Nozomi and the Jun so that they can share in the heals. And then lastly, your Summer Kokoro for the heal as well as the defense down. And so we're starting to get to a stage where a lot of people may not have Summer Kokoro because Summer Kokoro was, I actually can't remember how many months ago, maybe like four months ago now. And so again, some appropriate replacements for Summer Kokoro is probably going to be like your normal OG Kokoro as well as Akino, especially for the sustain. It's pretty good. When you're able to field Christina and Jun, the Makoto requirement starts to decrease. However, in my opinion, the more defense down, the better. You guys already know it. All right. And so with that out of the way, let's move on to the next kind of concern I want to share, which is this guy right here. So as you can see, there are these purple marks over here. And if you guys have not been exposed to them yet, that is your mark of unique equipment. And so what you will notice is like this Kiaru does have a unique equipment on her. And so if you are trying to replicate these kinds of comps with the unique equipments, some of them you can, some of them you can't. So for example, Kiaru on her UE, I believe she gets more of a defense down on her skill one, but really she is still a single target DPS fighting front to back. And so suitable replacements for that would be like your summer Kiaru or your Kyoka. But honestly, you might even be able to get away with your Halloween Misaki because like it's actually quite similar. Kiara's Yubi does AoE magic damage, Halloween Misaki does the same thing. But on top of that, Halloween Misaki also does defense shred on the UB. Anyway, that's not really the point of it. The point I'm trying to make is like, some of these UEs are really impactful, but a lot of them are not. So I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly where I am getting at, and that is the Ray. Just a gentle reminder, because I'm sure you guys are so sick of me saying it, but if you see Ray and you see Ray's UE, she is usable in CN. She is most certainly not usable for us in a global. Raise UE gives physical defense down. We don't have that yet. We can't use it. That's that's it. On the other hand, I do want to mention like Pekarin, uh, Hiori, Saren. You know what? Let's just go through a couple of them. Pekarin with UE is incredibly tanky. And so I do want to caution you guys because like what may work for a UE Pekarin for CN may not work with like an OG Pekarin or even like a Nozomi. With her UE, Pekarin just actually skyrockets in terms of like priority and performance. On the other hand, Kurumi gets like something that's pretty crazy, the TP charge for the entire team on skill one. And so you probably probably can't replicate that on global, but there is pretty fat chance that you will find Kurumi in a Lunar Tower comp. On the other hand, however, Hiyori, she does more damage. And so therefore you can kind of infer, if you see a Hiyori, it's, you can replace her pretty easily. Very, very similar for Saren. Saren's UE is, it's kind of crap, I think. Pretty sure it's like bottom of the barrel, bottom priority, very, very low performance. And I do know that Saren most certainly does pop up for this Lunar Tower in some of the earlier guides like Chocolate's one. But yeah, enough ramble about that one. Let's get out of here. All right, and so the next thing I want to talk about is that a lot of these Billy Billy comps, th there is actually quite a fair bit of variability. And so what I mean by that is that this is floor 111. And as you can see, it is most certainly a magic based comp. Now, if I come back to Chocolate's Guide, and then we come up to floor 111, you'll see that Chocolate actually opts for a physical comp instead. There are so many options now, especially if you are end game and you have everybody built. We're getting to the point where we're starting to steamroll things again. If you guys remember, like we used to take two turns to finish off the very hard bosses, but now for the most part, we can one hit them on auto. Same kind of critical mass over here for Lunar Tower. And so yeah, just a reminder that you can experiment. There is room to uh, kind of exit the stage if you are not doing too well. However, again, generally speaking, it's going to be a very, very similar comp to this, right? You've got your Shizuru like standing over here, which is quite far back. And so she can reach a lot of the characters when she wants to heal somebody. And then you just have a whole bunch of magic defense down in your Akari, in your Skiaru, and in your normal Kiaru with UE. And to top it all off, you've got your Misato healing everybody up. However, remember that magic cannot miss. And so that's kind of why we can get away with a comp like this. And so honestly, this comp looks awfully familiar. If I come back to Chocolate's Guide, yeah, it's it's just this one right here. All they've done is switch out the Miyako for a Shizuru instead. So yeah, guys, that is the magic comp in a nutshell. So uh, this one. So I wanted to show you guys this one. Like guys, I am not making stuff up about these UEs and stuff. You see that Hiyori over there with the purple icon? Definitely can be substituted with the Christina, the Kaori, the Summer Kokoro, and everything is starting to really look the same. Otherwise, the only thing I want to say left is seeing 
seeing some of these characters over here who you can't substitute in are generally like the physical DPSs who unfortunately just don't bring enough damage. So for the most part, pre-UE Eriko, pre-UE Jita, they just unfortunately can't match like the Kari or the Hyori with UE or like the Tomo and most certainly cannot match the Christina. But yeah, like guys, look at this level 110. We are at level 112, about to go 114. On top of that, the majority of them are gold plated. You can see they are still rank 96 or 106. And so yeah, I would not be worried about this. You got this guys. And so that brings us to the end of the video and I can really envision these videos getting shorter and shorter. At some point you guys may just opt to like open up a spreadsheet and that's it, right? <laughs> Come see Papa Lace, please. And so with that, I want to leave you guys with a secret message. It feels like it's been a while, but the secret message is BAU. BAU stands for business as usual because at this point, it really is business as usual. We've got the cookie cutter comps. We are able to order the majority of the way. And it is finally starting to get really breezy again. And so if you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, you guys have been around for so long. You already know what's up. Please like the video and sub if you have not yet. And so as Hiori with her unique equipment once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.